Greetings, welcome to the sinking city. That was very nice. Good to me. Oh, what's up? If I never have to use it, something tells me I will. There are Mr. Charles Reed. As you requested, I've researched the outburst of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great, yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes van der Berg. Camera? What's the. No, no, I wanna see that. Oh. Okay, I see some issue with. Walking. Okay. Mm, how can I use my camera? No. It's a bit laggy. No. Never trust a tourist advertisement. True. Really? Where's your camera? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, hold it. Do I have to hold it here as well? No. Definitely not. Okay, here's the camera. Still no. Oh, okay. Now get out. Okay. Wait. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Mm -hmm. You know someone who can help me with my problem. Visions of it. 
such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I don't need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Okay, thank you for everything. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Hey, I do not trust you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze very hard. Ooh. Can I take a photo of it? No. I love the Lovecraftian atmosphere. It's damp. See water monsters. <laughs> I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? 
Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say, Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Oh, with pleasure. But where is the house? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. Was standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Okay. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. I will try. What's that evidence? Get evidence in charge of objects as people, combine clues in your mind palace and take photos. Wait frame in the camera, viewfinder in the case if you're aiming correctly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Read evidence closely to identify important location, then pin it on the map to plan your route. Oh. <laughs> okay, and we have new 
Evidence. Okay. The four months and it's not going forward. Albert Tom Morton behaves strange after returning. Okay. So that's the house. Marked with the H. Nothing strange so far. Nothing stranger, should I say, than usual. Oh, hello. Give me a second. I want to see. Tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Hmm. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Oh, what? Oh, hello. You're crazy. Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, oh my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? What are you doing here? <laughs> Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis, we were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thog Morton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. Either that or starve. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky Rascal missed everything, and I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. I'm starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Oh. Choo-choo. Ahem. <clears throat> really? <laughs> oh. Where's this? Oh, I you. barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. What the hell? Okay, that reminds me of a. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Oh, Call of Cthulhu. Five cards short of a full house. Okay, and I think him seeing that guy means I. What the hell?
are you happy? There's not really new information. Hmm. Nothing to tell. Or what the? Oh. that happened in the past, expect enough evidence on the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. What? Whoa! I find it creepy. What's happening? Okay. Is there anyone? No. No one was at the table. Take this, ape face. <laughs> so it was the sun. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. So I guess it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Oh, what's that? Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Prohibition hasn't affected any place in Lovecraft's work. I still hear those voices. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Oh, okay, my palace. Yes, oh my god. He was on deductions and attacked. Yes. One fisherman is still. No. Albert fled when wounded. Oh. Wait. Ah. And this one, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, oh, god damn it. This one and this one. Okay, so I get it right, it appears on this screen. As an Isma for Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Frog Mortons, that could be a reason to hate them. Okay. So, ah! I'm still not done here. Come on. One fisherman is missing and Arbor fed. Albert and the fisherman called Louis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural scent. You really should not be talking about supernatural senses, you know? Okay. In case book, which request for the room key, fight him. Wait, drag down. It's pinned. Okay, 
Mine's I can reveal almost that guide your way. So Oh, I see blood. Is that it? There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Whoa. I think I'm losing my sanity. Can I jump out? Okay, we better hurry. You know what? Actually, let's. Everything I know. Okay. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. I gave you clear instructions. Fine. I wonder if I can see any evidence. What? What is happening? Oh! Fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. This is trippy. Is there something here? No. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, let's see whether I can do it myself. Am I supposed to... Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Guess that's the place. I don't see anything else, so... Ah! Oh. There's something in the pocket. Can I get oh Louis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't ha yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fast snooping around the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Okay. The blood is fresh. Whoever it belongs to could not have got far. Ooh. They just I ate there was alcohol in there? Really? Can I open no I can definitely can open any doors. I guess just all the ones that are marked. More blood. But looks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. Okay. Oh. Hello. Are you beat? Fatal round through the forehead. Go away, go away, go there! Yeah. Okay. Breathe. That's no accident. Okay. The hell was Instead it was pursued Albert left the crime scene, so those no? Fled, so Louis pursued Albert. Louis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a top motor rather than just drive him off. Oh. Yeah, Albert was murdered. Still? No. I'm bad at those. Louis may be at the bar. Louis the insmuffler that killed Albert. Top motor may be hiding at the bar in Oakwood Port. Really, and no comment about that. Okay, this a... Can I? Okay, this one's dead. No. Can I? 
Okay, stop looking at it and let me... Definitely gonna take a shot. And about Louis, uh, Albert? No. No, not that. I think... I think so. Sorry, I have to talk to your father about you. Okay, so some kind of things appear on the upper compass. The hell! Don't come near me! Don't, 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 don't! Mr. Throgmorton, now I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. No spade. That first hand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hit. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. So, uh... Albert, like you asked. Now, will you answer my questions? What kind of a man are you, newcomer? Heartless one. My son is dead. His murderer still loose, and you expect me to listen to your pointless natter? I want Albert's killer here now. Everything else will wait. Tell me you know who he is. Yeah. That seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is, then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an innsmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a throgmorton. Bring me that dirt bag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me. And I'll help you with anything you need. Thank you very much for now. Bye bye.